Welcome to the RSP Film Room. This is Matt Waldman with the Rookie Scouting Portfolio. Today's episode is what I would call the Rorschach test. Um, I've been doing this on my blog on occasion in written form and have people who are readers get a chance to vote on what they think happened on this play and why the play occurred the way it did. If you're not familiar with the Rorschach test, um, it is basically a psychological test in which subjects perceptions of ink blots are recorded and then analyzed using psychological interpretation or complex algorithms or both and uh, they use it to psychologists use it to examine a person's personality characteristics and emotional functioning and it's been employed to detect underlying thought disorders um, you know or looking at their thinking processes openly um, Obviously, we're not going that deep <laughs> with football, but I just wanted to give you qu uh, kind of an idea of why I called it that. Um, this is I just think that there are some plays where you look at it, um, and without being able to talk to the player or the coaches, you, you may not fully see what the intention was here, and there may have been two or three different things that happened that contributed to the outcome of the play, and maybe there was no single correct answer. So we're going to look at this play, and it's a it's a pass play that is um, going to be directed to this slot left receiver. And I want you to take a look at this and look at it in real time here. And you see that it turns out to be a tackle for a loss. Um, let's look at it one more time. What I want you to think about is why do you think this play happened the way it did? Did the quarterback lead the receiver, um, throw the ball too high? That's the first question. Did he throw the ball too high for the receiver and he had to make this adjustment and it took him off track? That's one possibility. Did this linebacker just shoot, or the safety, excuse me, shoot the gap well enough that the receiver just never really had a chance and it was a great play by the defender. Let's look at it one more time. Seeing the defender shoot in here. See, look where he is. And watch him inch up. And he's guessing right away and just running right to the play. He gets right under that block or two. It's a really nice play. So one option is quarterback threw the ball too high. Second option is the safety shot the gap very well and made a great tackle. Or what about this one? Did the receiver not follow the trajectory of the throw? Because the throw actually led the receiver downfield. And if the receiver actually worked outside, he might not have had to high point the ball. He could have continued running downfield, let the ball come over his inside shoulder, and have caught the ball well outside this this block to the inside and would have put him one-on-one -on -one with this off corner with a good 10-yard cushion for him to make a move and make this man miss. Instead he gets tackled. So we have three options here to take a look at. We'll review one more time. And you can post on the blog or on the blog or on your YouTube comment what you think it was. And then I'll tell you, you know, over time what I think it is. First, is it the throw being too high? That's one shot. Let's look at it one more time. Was it the safety anticipating the play well and firing off and getting under the blocker and making the great tackle? Or was it the receiver not being on the same page with the quarterback who's trying to lead him downfield and he stops his route, turns back to watch for it and ends up high pointing a ball that was trying to lead him further downfield and puts him in a bad position to where he could have had better position if he ran the route and didn't break it off so early. Let's look at it one more time so that you can determine any of the three that I gave you as choices, maybe there's a fourth choice there. So if you want, comment on YouTube 
and let me know what you think it was of those options. And uh, I'll let you know probably at the end of the week in my Reads, Listen, Views blog what I thought it was and why. Thanks again. Have a good night.